Hello everyone. <coughs> so after discussing piston ring design, now we are going to design two features in this session in this video. They are piston barrel design and piston spur design. What is piston barrel and what is piston spur and how they are differentiated from each other. So first of all piston barrel. Piston barrel is nothing but a design before we are going to provide machining to our piston so it is a hollow section clear if i am subtracting a piston head thickness then the remaining portion which is hollow more of a hollow hollow cylinder or hollow pipe that is called piston barrel so this piston barrel contains two features two features of our piston one is wall thickness or you can say remaining wall thickness a part of head thickness and a ring section the remaining wall thickness which we have noted by or denoted by T3 in our first lecture of introduction to our piston and T4 which is the thickness of base of our piston so there are two features which contain by our piston barrel so piston barrel is nothing but a hollow section subtracting our piston head or you can say top plate and piston skirt piston skirt is a feature which can, which is also part of piston barrel but when we are after machining when we are subtracting or removing the part or portion of top plate as well as ring section the remaining bottom part or remaining below part of that ring section it is called a piston skirt then both are approach for the both design will be different because piston barrel is a more of a feature which is a feature which is provided initially by designing our piston and this feature is considered depending on our gas pressure as well as force acting upon that clear so first we are going to discuss about piston barrel so as i have told you piston barrel is a portion which is hollow portion clear and subtracting or below the our top plane or you can say piston head thickness clear it has a empirical formula depending on our diameter as well as piston top plane clear so what is our formula for our piston uh, thickness or this thickness also remaining thickness of our piston wall clear so barrel represent remaining thickness of our piston wall so what is that the p3 p3 which is determined by empirical formula it is goes like this 0.03.03d 0.03d where d is diameter of piston b b which is top length i have i will explain what is the value of this top length which is not b one but which is b why we are doing this because this thickness should be greater than our radial thickness of our ring so this b will going to depend on or this b will depend going to depend on radial thickness of piston ring because this groove this groove is uh, is manufactured on our piston after designing this barrel so this groove and this thickness both are related to each other here after 4.5 plus 4.5 mm where this b is where this b is e1 plus 0.04 mm so this b or you can say the length clear for this it should be greater than 4.4 mm 0.04 mm greater than r t1 t1 which is radial thickness of our ring clear so ultimately p3 will become like this after putting this value of p in our equation ultimately value will be p3 is equal to 0.03 d plus t1 plus 4.9 mm so ultimately our p3 which is wall thickness or barrel thickness of our piston is ultimately 0.03 d plus t1 plus 4.9 mm here we have determined wall of our piston which is also this also this you can say that this wall is also before machining of our piston clear okay so this is one of the important feature of our piston barrel or you can say piston thickness and depending on that we are going to determine base thickness which is in terms of our piston barrel thickness and which is 0.25 of p3 to 0.35 of p3 so here our barrel design is totally depends on empirical formula 
formula which is determined by diameter as well as r thickness of piston radial thickness of piston ring and bottom <coughs> thickness is determined from this barrel thickness so this is design of our piston barrel this contains two equation or two features design features one is t3 and t4 that t3 is piston barrel thickness and t4 is piston base thickness after that we are move on to piston skirt piston skirt is one of the most important feature in our piston design why it is most important because it will come under a bearing pressure why this bearing pressure because the lower portion of our piston thickness is directly connected to our <coughs> connecting rod via piston p and this will create a wall pressure on piston skirt clear so ultimately it will comes under bearing pressure this section below because you know that ring section will be connected with the help of piston ring so it will not come under that kind of pressure and it is designed for pressure only in this case this bearing pressure as well as a thrive uh, bearing pressure will act on our piston skirt due to those side stress clear side stress so here we have to determine the feature or you can say geometrical design of our skirt depending on this too how you are going to determine this so first of all we have to determine this side thrust what amount of th side thrust our skirt will come under so side thrust will be depending on our gas pressure but here as we have discussed previously here this pressure or this gas pressure will not going to directly act upon your skirt so effect of this pressure will be lesser compared to our piston head so ultimately our pressure will be 10 times lower clear what is our equation in case of piston head uh, of a force it is pi by 4 d into p but in case of uh, skirt the side thrust clear or thrust which we i have denoted as a r in which our pressure will be 10 times lower clear 10 times lower than our original pressure so it will it will diminish or it will uh, it will decrease when it comes to our skirt design compared to piston head design and this is acting force clear there are two types of forces acting force and reacting force reacting force determine what type of stress will occur in your piston an acting force will create this reacting force clear without any acting force there will be no reacting force or you can say not reaction so it is also uh, also follows the rule of newton's third law of motion of force or you can say motion clear so our acting force is pi by 4 d into p by 10 so this is created by a gas pressure how this will create this will create due to that side thrust clear it will create a side thrust and it's a due to the side thrust bearing pressure will generate or bearing stress will generate in our skirt clear so what is reaction or supporting force supporting force it is bearing stress into projected area what will be the projected area in case of this skirt the projected area is a periphery into its piston so it is a vertical cross section is also represented by d into length of skirt d is a diameter of the skirt and l is a length of skirt diameter is nothing but diameter of our piston ls which is represented by length of skirt here where p d which is bearing pressure or limiting bearing pressure of our cylinder Our piston wall, which is always between 0.25 megapascal to 0.5 megapascal. Here we will take it as a 0.25 megapascal to 0.5 megapascal, and ultimately from this equation, you can easily determine length of skirt if you have diameter of our piston, outer diameter of piston. Here we have we will going to provide this all the features, and ultimately our aim is to. my length of skirt clear what will be the thickness of skirt thickness of skirt nothing but the thickness of barrel clear so thickness of skirt is nothing but thickness of barrel but what will be the length of skirt length of skirt will be l so after designing after determining different vertical dimension 
one is top length another is knee section and ultimately length of skirt you can easily determine you can one can easily determine total length of our piston so total length of our piston is determined by this equation first is length of skirt plus total ring section now what is exactly what uh, what are the different features in our ring section so i will write here uh, i will write here so what is what are the vertical features so you, as you have seen ring section clear because uh, length of skirt it is ls determined by this what is ring section what will be the ring section so i will write it like this r suffix suffix x s so all we have to determine is vertical length so what will be the vertical features so what is axial thickness of ring and distance between two consecutive rings so if there are four rings if there are four rings then axial thickness is 4 p2 clear axial thickness of ring is determined by t2 and what is distance between two ring section it is b2 clear t1 is radial thickness b2 is axial thickness as well as b1 is top length b2 is distance between two so if there are four rings then it is 4 t2 and the distance will be 3 clear so it will be 3 so length of skirt ls plus 42 plus 3b2 and what is top length top length is nothing but b1 so our equation will be ls plus 42 plus 3b2 plus b1 so total length will be determined by this three this three features one is length of skirt ring section plus top length clear so here we have done with two things or two features of our piston one is piston barrel another is piston skirt in which we have determined wall thickness of piston barrel t3 and t4 to both are empirical formula depending on diameter and top length clear and in piston skirt which is comes under bearing space or side thrust clear which is compensated by bearing space in our piston skirt ultimately this gives us the length of skirt clear this length of skirt we have to determine total length of our piston which is represented by length of skirt plus ring section and top length one can easily determine this length of uh, total length of our piston depending on this this ring section is the de uh, determination of vertical length or vertical features of our ring section which is represented by 4t2 plus 3b2 where t2 is axial thickness of ring and b2 is distance between two consecutive rings and b1 is nothing but our top length so this is our design of piston barrel and piston skirt after that our last topic for this piston design which is piston pin design i hope you have understand all of this different aspect of piston barrel and piston skirt now we will move on to piston pin thank you